Guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. The weather's been a bit back and forth, so we'll try to hurry this up. But today, we're gonna install something pretty sweet. If you have a 2015 and up Mustang, especially if you have a Mach 1, you're probably gonna want this. Yeah, that rain is coming, but guys, all right, we're gonna be modding the Mach 1 today. Like I said, if you have a 2015 and up Mustang GT, EcoBoost, whatever, this is gonna be something that you're probably gonna to wanna to add to your car. I think it'll look really cool. But on a Mach 1, in my opinion, Ford should have put on this vehicle from the factory, from the get-go, and we're gonna be fixing that today. So we have all of the handling package stuff. We get the wheels, the fender trim, we get the front lip. So I have the spoiler back here, and then we also have from the factory, GT500 rear valance. Kind of cool texture. But on the side skirts here, regular Mustang GT texture here. That rain is coming, it's windy out here. But okay, so anyway, back on topic here. But the trim here, tough to tell on camera, but it actually sticks out a little bit further on each side. Of course, we have the fender trim to tie it all together for the wider wheels. So it kind of sticks out on the side, ties in with the fender trim, but then the side skirt sinks in because it's regular Mustang GT. In my opinion, this needs to stretch out a little bit more to give it a little bit more girth at the bottom instead of so skinny in the center. I mean, they look fine, but I want a little bit more width at the center of the car because I think with the wide front end from that lower splitter and with that GT500 rear balance that comes from Ford on these cars, to me, just looking at the car in person, this the center of the car looks a little bit skinny. I'm not gonna do like an RTR side skirt or anything like that. Although that would look pretty cool, we're gonna do something a little bit more spicy. We're gonna be adding a GT500 style side skirts to this car plus the extensions yeah, you can see how fat she is in the back so how this actually kind of kicks out and then we wrap our eyes around to the side skirt and it sinks in because it's normal GT and we walk around got that wide front splitter here let's dive into the video guys let's head back to the garage let's dive into the video let's make this thing look a little bit more 500 like on the side and let's go All right, guys, we have, oh, this is so sick. So we, this is MP Concepts, guys. This is who I got it from American Muscle for like 200 and like 30 bucks for all this ship. So pretty much everything they make is all like, they use like Ford CAD data, data to like produce pretty much everything that they make. Let's see what we got in the kit. So we got instructions. It's pretty easy to install, honestly, it should be. We got the side skirts themselves. And these are like a GT350 style side skirt. We did get new clips because we're gonna probably break some on the way out because we're gonna have to to actually remove some of the body here so this lower rocker all has to be separated from the car so um, hopefully we don't mess this up because if we didn't mess this up we're in trouble and then we have our splitter extensions and these are like let's see i'm excited this is i ordered the entire kit just for these pieces whether or not i use the side skirts i'm still debating on but this is really what i want these extensions right here to make it like this is like what you would see on gt500 it is identical pretty much to the oem plastic which is always a good thing sweet there's the bottom if you wanted to just keep these for easy install uh you can screw these in place so i think even without replacement side skirts gonna look really cool if we just did that but i do kind of want to rip one of these sides off and fit one of the new 350 style skirts in place just to see if it would look good but i think um even if you just ran these extensions on your oem skirt it would be fine they do give you where did it go so it did come with these screws right here, which are gonna be used to screw in basically those into either your OEM or your new side skirt. And you can see that there is no holes, which to me is a huge, huge letdown. And if we're gonna screw something like this, um, yeah, we're not gonna use this. What we're gonna do is rivet this stuff on just like the front splitter here has plastic there's big thick plastic rivets from the factory and you could use the screws if you want to i mean it comes with a kit and i'm sure it's fine i think it'd be a little bit more secure so okay guys now we have unpackaged one of the side skirts this will be the side that we're working on first our driver's side but this has the legs just like the gt350 and you can see that it's got the matching texture 
back here that matches the same on the rear valance for the GT500. So we have the same texture. And then we also have a blend of the OEM style texture, which will match the front. So I think this is a cool blend between the two textures that will look right at home on a Mach 1, in my opinion. This is all done with like using Ford CAD data. So it's supposed to be a 100% OEM fit. So it'll fit kind of like this on the car. That's gonna look so good, man. It's gonna look freaking killer. No holes in the bottom, so we're just gonna have to find our placement. I've been uh, eyeballing these for a couple of months, so, but now they're here. Let's go ahead, start installing them on the car. Let's go. Something else, check this out too. So about the length, about this length right here, you can see my thumb. My point is, if we come over here to the GT, See how much further that actually goes in? All right, so we're gonna move some of these push clips. There's two or three of them that we need to get rid of on the front. One, two, three. In the back, you've another push clip back here that we need to remove as well. Underneath the car, you got some of these Christmas tree style clips. There's a bunch of them. I think there's like seven per side. Once those clips are out, the next step is gonna be removing our rocker trim. This is something I'm kind of nervous about because we're removing body panels off of the car. It's supposed to just unsnap. Yep, so it's pretty easy so far. All right, guys, I'm not gonna lie, that was, uh, frightening that was terrifying you're probably gonna break some of these clips which they give you new ones these little white ones but none of our body work is messed up so always a good thing but the reason we need to take this off instead of just separating you know the side skirt from the actual panel itself is these metal rivets we're gonna have to drill out there's one here and then i believe there's one over here on this end as well yep there is where the kit doesn't give you new rivets for those but luckily again we have some so i'm gonna re-rivet this so that it's basically as oem going back on the car as much as we can help it this is just foam right here no big deal if that gets messed up, but don't rush it because I mean, you're gonna have to use a little bit of force. This is the first time it's been off the car and yeah, I had to pull in some sections. I thought it was gonna snap in half. Came off clean, so all right, let's get to work. Let's transfer everything over. See if uh, we wasted 200 bucks, but I think that we're gonna be pretty happy, honestly. <laughs> I want to highlight the width difference. So there's regular GT where it actually bolts right up, where it actually sits right up against the body. And then you can see the length difference uh, right here. See the texture difference. And then right here in the front, where it actually sits up against the body, then we have all of this. So it's going to stick out quite a bit further. And I think it's going to give us, again, the width that we want on our Mach 1. All right, easy enough. It just snaps in place, just like OEM, and then exposes the holes here there in the front and then also in the back it's pretty close so what i'm going to do now is the instructions don't call to really do anything here because there's no hardware that comes to mount that to that to make it kind of like oem so again this is where i'm going to take it a step further and you probably want to do the same and i'm going to get a plastic rivet there and also down there so it doesn't separate and we have an oem finish All right guys, the rain is coming. It's already starting to sprinkle, so we're gonna get on with this video and wrap it up. But we have a completed install, and let me tell you, getting the, because they're not pre-drilled, getting the extensions lined up uh, was kind of a mess, kind of a pain and time consuming. Honestly, I spent like a good two hours doing that, but I think the results came out perfect. Let's spin the camera, show you what it looks like. Let's go. Who the wind is gonna kill us? GT500 style side skirts and the extensions. Let me know in the comments, what do you think? But again, not a sponsored video by any means, but American Muscle is where I picked them up. And I say that because MP Concepts makes them and I think that AM is the only place that sells them. Um, you know, but anyway, so good deal on these, but they look freaking killer. I really like how, if we take a close look at how on the Mach 1, this piece of the bumper comes up and then we carry that same kind of design language down and it wraps to the back of the car, but you can see how it kind of pokes out just a little bit more uh, towards the rear tire there. So they look freaking really good. <laughs> so in my opinion, Ford should have done this from the factory. I really, really am digging the way that this looks. So here's your gap here and uh, GT350 style. Again, you don't have to run these. And in fact, they actually sell these without this piece down here if you don't want to do that. Now, full transparency. So full transparency, I did do the plastic rivets uh, to hold it in place and that was kind of a nightmare like I said lining up my holes in all honesty those screws that it came with 
just use those you'll be fine i think that it's not going to go anywhere but uh you know i come i kind of did some plastic rivets and then i also used a couple of those uh screws and i think it's going to be solid for speed so this is it this is it gt500 styling on our mach 1 so good looking oh. I absolutely love that. It's a freaking killer look, man. I love it. So, but you see in the front how the front splitter kind of pokes to the side out there in front of the tire. Remember, these tires and wheels are a little bit wider since it's the handling package stuff. Got the fender trim, and then we have the side skirt there, and it looks freaking killer. So, I just want to get you some good angles here. Looks freaking really, really gnarly. I am digging it, man. Like I was saying, that textured look here carried over, and then this is like the OEM texture that will match the front. And I think that it contrasts very well. It's coming, rain is coming. Yep. Just uh, gonna wrap up this video with some post game here. So in my opinion, is it worth the little over $200 that we spent? Um, yeah, definitely. So uh, if you have a Mach 1, I think that you're gonna really love this. And including the 2015 and up Mustang GT and EcoBoost and whatever model you have in general, I think it's a really clean look. And uh, overall, it's a pretty easy install. Yeah, I think it's a home run. I think it's a killer, a killer price, a killer product. I mean, OEM fitment pretty much. I mean, the side skirts fit just like OEM. I mean, aside from the extensions, you kind of have to just line them up, take your time, maybe double side tape them up in place and then find your holes if you want to pre-drill it or just run those screws up through there. I think if you use the screws, you'll be honestly just fine because you have to pre-drill and then find another spot, mark it, and then drill up again into the side skirt. And it's kind of a, a lengthy process, but if you just use those regular screws, just drill, 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 and you're fine. I think that they're going to hold up to speed, no problem. Let me know in the comments, what do you think? I'm going to get back home, get the sink out of the rain because that's no bueno. And I'll see you guys in the next video. We got some big things coming up, by the way. Way. okay so this whole month the rest of this month is going to be like heavy install stuff and there's a rhyme and reason behind it we're going to get this thing a little bit more track ready and there is also more power coming to this mach 1 so you guys uh hopefully you're excited i am and i'll see you guys in the next video though stay tuned <laughs>